Hello, hello, and welcome to Only Slightly Opinionated. I'm Jamie. And I'm Joey. And we took last week off, didn't we? We showed it. We took a little restication. We need a little break from each mm, other. A little bit of R and R. A little R and R. <laughs> Ara and Ara. Little Ara and Ara. Um, what's up, baby? What you doing? What's happening? What's the skinny? What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. What's the buzz? Tell me Tell what's me happening. What happening. When what's do we buzz? ride into Jerusalem? When do mm-hmm. we ride into yeah. Jerusalem? No. Oh, I was just, you know, <laughs> chiming <Yeah>. in. <laughs> yeah. That's why I stopped, because you ruined it. Well, it's been like two whole weeks. I got so much stuff. To share oh, with you. No. Because oh, I haven't no. talked to your ass. It's because you don't communicate with me outside of this fucking podcast. Not even true. That's that's a goddamn lie. That's a totally true. Unless I text you. That's it. Mm, okay. We ain't got no kind of communication. You keep on spreading that hate. We need we need to see a therapist. Mm. A couples mm. counselor. Mm. For the lack of communicationness. So I have game night at my house tonight. Why are you excited? When you had to go to a game night, you were all like bummed out about it. Well, because I wasn't sure if it was going to be fun or not. Right. And these are new people, you know, we're inviting into our fold. New. Invite. These are new. These aren't the people you went to the game night with. Well, no, we're, I'm still working on the new people. You know, they're not fully oh. in fold. It's not like, you know, like they're just like, you, you know, folded into the mess all quick. Like you got to take your time. You got to need it. You got to you got to. You got to let it rise, like, with the yeast. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't either. I'm lost. But you got to let it marinate. Okay. That's what you got to do. You got any more food metaphors you want to use? I'm using a lot of cooking references. Gotta let it cook it up. <laughs> got to put a little burr blanc on top of it. That's what you got to do. Then you got to drain it. <laughs> got to throw it, it on the grill. Smack it up, flip it, rub it down. Finish it off in the oven. Oh, yeah. Um. Well, that's fun. What games are you going to play? I don't know. I want to play. Um, I talked about it last time. The new game that I bought, Code Names, um, which was super super fun, but we totally played it wrong. So I want to <laughs> want to play it the right way because I couldn't remember the the directions when we started to play it, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, that's how you play it." And then afterwards, I was like, "That's not well." How if you it was play fun, that. why don't you just play it how you played it? Well, we played it, but it wasn't it wasn't very strategic. It was we played it without following the correct rules, so it was like anybody could win for oh, no okay. reason. Like it was there's no there was no strategy. Got it. Got it. And it was really really needed to be strategized. So I don't know. We're gonna play that. We're getting pizza. I'm excited about pizza because I'm going off my diet for today. Gonna have some. Pizza. I'm gonna turn and up. And how? Of course, I don't know if it's gonna be good pizza or not because they're bringing it, and it's from a place we've never had before. So I have no idea. Oh, that's rough. So how many people are coming? Just them. Just them. Oh, just a couple. Yep. Just um, uh, Cedric and Victor. Um, oh, this is the gay couple. Yes. Okay. And, and how we were, come you didn't invite their parents? Well, I, I did, but oh. I guess they uninvited them and said that they were just coming alone. So I was kind of like, uh, okay. Because um, they I, want to hop into bed with you. That's what's happening. Oh, no, honey. Don't say that. They might listen to this. <laughs> then they'll be like, uh, no, because they are way younger than us. And they'll probably be like, ew, they're like my grandparents' age. Maybe they got a thing for grandparents. I do. <laughs> <laughs> but um when we were at so last weekend was fourth of july right last fourth mm-hmm. of july weekend yeah um yeah they had um cedric's parents who also live in our neighborhood had a pool party and i went to the pool party marty worked like a motherfucker claims he didn't remember but you know that's a goddamn lie because we already established last episode that marty always lie Always. <laughs> poor Marty. <laughs> well, you're the poor, one that said it. Marty. <laughs> yeah, but poor Marty. <laughs> but uh, so I went to the pool party and I sat in the pool for an entire four hours and had a blast because um, there was um, a couple of other um, LGBTQ people. I, I'm just trying to make sure I choose the, the correct wording. Um, 
but anyway, I had so much fun. And then when I was leaving, Cedric's mom was like, we have to have another um, game night soon. And I was like, um, yeah, because... I already knew they were coming over <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> so I felt really awkward. So I went right up to Cedric and I was like, you didn't invite your mom. And he was like, nah, they'll be all right. <laughs> oh, that's no fun. <laughs> Get mama and daddy there. I don't know. Maybe dad had something going on or something. I don't know. So Maybe but next dad time. wanted to get into bed with you and they were like, no, oh, you can't go anymore. Jamie, son, stop with the sleeping with japanese me i did jamie son <laughs> except you said jamie son like it was japanese well yeah jamie son you know, yeah i used to call you jameson i know jameson but not jamie son i know i like it now i'm gonna add it no, no, it's God. gonna be part of my repertoire also <sighs> my niece and nephew were here they're gone already it was such a short visit but i was super 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 excited to see them um, got to see both my niece and nephew. Got to have Thai food with my nephew and his girlfriend, Michelle, who's so sweet. Um, but we were laughing. Um, she's Filipino heritage. And we went to this the Thai restaurant. And then when they brought all the food out, they brought everybody's food. And then they turned to her and said, do you want chopsticks? And we were all like, oh. <gasps> What, was it the White Run restaurant? Oh no, no, it was oh. an, <laughs> it was an Asian girl. So I'm sure she was just like you know good looking out like right. for her Asian peeps. But at the same time, it was like me and my brother both at the exact same time were like that was kind of racist. <laughs> did you ask for chopsticks? Well, I did after the fact, but <laughs> I was like, I want some chopsticks. Shit, but it was kind of funny. <laughs> so what did you been doing you had like two full weeks what you been doing nothing oh jamie <laughs> no i haven't i haven't done anything paul left for minnesota well sioux falls yesterday so i do have the whole house to myself for a week um but beyond that i watch some tv <laughs> i've been i've what i've been doing is i've been playing i bought a nintendo switch oh, okay and i've been playing uh legend of zelda Link's awakening for the last week and a half mm. i bought it on fourth of july and so i've just been going crazy with that just spending all my time playing that trying to beat the game that's so cute that's about it that's about it that's about it my ass is about it yeah that's it that's all I I've can't, done. I can't play no video games other than playing some you Bubsy could. with you back in the day. <clears throat> I was never but much of a this video like. gamer. That's what this is like, though. Neither was oh, I. No, no, I, I, I played Bubsy. Uh, I never played. I had a video game system, but I hardly ever played anything but like Bubsy or the Lion King or all side scrolling games that were Mario that were relatively easy. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I still play. I can't do the fancy like five button things that you have to do with Ooh, newer Lord, systems no. like that. Uh -uh. I can't do any of that. This is all just like a joystick and some buttons. I'm like, okay, I can do that. It just makes my arthritis hurt just thinking about it. No, it's good for your hands, baby. It keeps them idle. I mean, keeps mm. them from being idle. <laughs> idle hands are the devil's playground. You know that, right? I oh, know that's right. Um, So you stopped vaping. I did. Yep. I stopped vaping this week. I waited until I was didn't have any more vapes because I didn't want to waste them. True. But I stopped. So I don't know what day it was. It's been about four days, I think. Okay. That okay. I haven't vaped. Um, I mean, I'm still using marijuana. I still just take, I bet I take edibles now. But yeah, vaping is just so bad for you. And I just, I didn't want to mess up my lungs any more than they already were from smoking for years. And, you know. Being yeah. a singer and and stuff like that, I just I hear vaping is so horrible. So, yeah, I've been doing that. That's not fun because I do enjoy the vape. It's it's just like food with marijuana delivery systems. For me, the things that are the easiest are also the worst for you. The things that are the best are the worst for you. Just like with food, the things yeah. that taste the best are always the worst for you. And it's like marijuana because I could smoke, but I hate that. That's like smoking is better than vaping, but I can't fucking stand the taste. I just mm. hate it so much. 
So the only thing I have left is edibles. And then yeah. it's then it's like all about timing and making sure you don't take too much. And it's much more difficult. But whatever. I can understand. Yeah. I just want to get my high on. I just want to be stoned <laughs> out of my mind all the goddamn time. <laughs> don't want to think about nothing real. Fuck real life. Real life sucks. I know. No, that's my right. My life is good. My life is good. I don't know why I say that. I'm just kidding around. Just politically. Everything. Sucks. Everything. Yes. <laughs> everything legitimately sucks. But my life is okay. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. And you're cute, Davey. You're so cute. It just doesn't feel right when you say it. Why? You're super cute. Because it feels like you're making fun of me. I'm not. Even that little picture you sent me giving me the meter face. I was like, God damn, look at Jamie looking all cute and skinitized. You did. You looked all skinny. You looked gaunt. Oh God. <laughs> I was like heroin chic showing through. I wish. I, wish. <laughs> I do wish. I'm on but my this Monday I'll take my last shot of the 2.5, hopefully of the 2.5 milligram, because I have really plateaued. I have really um, Are you planning to go up now on the I'm dosage? Hoping. Okay. I'm hoping I've talked to my doctor. Yeah, I mean, I think I would think like since the nausea has subsided that going up, I'm I mean, you might get nausea again. Yeah. But it might only be for like a day or two. Hopefully, yeah. that's what I'm worried about is getting the nausea again. But I'd rather ha- be a little nauseous than um, not lose weight. <laughs> no, I know. But don't get yourself don't get down on yourself. I mean, it, it's it's a struggle. It's so hard. Yeah. And besides, you know, you're taking the medication, but you, you had to sort of like adapt and take it differently than how it should have been taken just because you had such horrible nausea. You weren't able to elevate the dosage. Oh, right, 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 right. And right, go right, up. Yeah, so time. I mean, I think I could have, but my doctor didn't want to. Right. So I think this time going into it, I you, hope. Know, you might have a better. I I think so. I'm going to stay I hope. positive. And I hope it helps. It helped for our friend Margaret. Mm-hmm. Um, when she went up a dose because she had plateaued too and she said it did help her. So I'm hoping it will help me as well. I'd like to go up to five, then up to, you know, and get it be on the steady path because again, it's very likely that I will lose coverage of this drug sometime between August and November. Mm. So I'd like to get as much use out of it as possible. Um, That's just crazy. Yeah. Yep, that's fucking insurance for you. Though the weird thing is, is I still haven't received anything from Blue Cross saying that. That's what but I was I saying. Mean, maybe, maybe it's going to be for new, new prescriptions, and just you just, or just... maybe they just don't tell you until you get preauthorized again, and then they say no. Yeah. You know, I don't know. That would be a shitty thing to do. Yeah. Let's yeah. Hope oh not. well. Um. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm still. I don't eat a ton. I really, I almost don't eat anything until dinner. I have very little in the morning and afternoon, and I'm not hungry. Then when dinner comes, I'm usually really hungry. Right. But I'm still not, I'm still eating less. You're not being like gluttonous for dinner. You're just like. Well, I mean, I was never gluttonous, but no, I, know. I was, uh, but I'm, I'm still eating less than I would have eaten before. Right. Because I get fuller quicker. So that's fine, you know. I just feel like like going up a dose will kick it back into gear, I hope. Because this past week I only lost a one point seven pounds. So um and I've got to I've gotta keep on I had lost an average of three pounds a week. Right. And to keep that pace, something's gotta happen. So Yeah, yeah. I don't know what. I'm sending you me. all I'm not the eating good less, vibes, baby. Fuck sake. I'm not going to start eating less or walking more. <laughs> I'm doing my best. <laughs> I just want to lose. I don't understand why I'm not losing more weight, even especially with the drug, because I'm walking every day. I'm eating less. So it just seems like I should be losing weight. Even if I didn't have the drug, I should be losing weight. Right. Right. But I'm just not losing it in the way that I w- anticipated I would. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm not really losing any weight now either, but I'm not really trying either. I just kind of did that whole thing where I'm like, I'm just going to maintain where I am for now because it's too fucking hot. It is so goddamn hot. I'm miserable. 
You know, I started walking on my treadmill instead because I'm like, I can't even be outside. But even yeah. on the treadmill in the house, it's like I'm dripping sweat by the time I'm done. Wow. Um, just because it's it's you know, we have to keep the house at like 75 degrees. Otherwise, I mine's at 72 right now. Well, I know, but you don't have live in a goddamn sauna. It's it's That's just what like I'm saying. So why isn't yours at 72? Why don't you put it lower? Because it would run all day long. Oh, it would run literally from the time we got up till the time we went to bed it's it's uh it just can't handle this kind of heat these these little air pumps they have down here it's like it's different than the systems they have up north but it's just yeah it just doesn't it doesn't do enough so it, it's kind of warm and i'm always a little bit moist <laughs> why do you live there i don't know i hate it so much I don't know. I think you say that, but I think deep down you're some kind of conservative Republican Trump lover who loves it down there. Ew. Uh, That's what I think. You don't think that. I do now. No, you don't. I do. I know you don't. You don't know shit about I shit. Do. I'm looking at you right now. It I'm going to play my like game. There's, a, there's not a thought in your head. Keep talking. I'm going to play my game. <laughs> no, you are not. <laughs> Cause right now it's time for Joey's motherfucking music. Oh, oh well, then I could play my game. I could have kept going, but I stopped it just so that you didn't look at me with such hatred in your eyes. It's not hatred. It hurts my soul. It's not hatred. What is it then? doesn't matter <laughs> so um the previous week i was glad we kind of skipped a week anyway because the music releases were shit um there was nothing really good that came out but this week there was like a few really good things that i was super super excited about um the number one being joe goddard who is um one of the members of a, a band called hot chip which is an electronic band that i absolutely love and adore um and he's done several like side projects um like he did a, a there was a band called the the two bears and <clears throat> there, there was another one called hard feelings that were like his side projects and now this is like a solo project of his um it's called harmonics and he kind of got a bunch of different vocalists from other bands to guest as the vocals for his song so that it didn't sound as much like hot chip because he does the video or the song the the lyrics vocals the vocals thank you god damn it for Jesus. hot chip as well but anyway um it's really good it's like um impeccable beautifully produced electronic um pop it's it's just really 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 good and okay. um i'm kind of hooked on it big time the other one would be a total polar opposite, which is a band called Cigarettes After Sex, who I absolutely love and adore. This is their third album, um, and I play them all incessantly, or I played the first two incessantly. So I'm sure I'll be playing this third one just as much because it's just as good. They have this like signature sound, which is like kind of like this um, hazy 60s guitar vibe like it's just mm -hmm. like a beachy feel um but it's super super cool um anyway we'll hear it on the outro so that everybody can ha have a, a a little taste of it because it's mm -hmm. very very good just the taste but i love that band and this new album is called x's um like the letter x okay. so Anyway, um, there's another um, artist named Claro, C-L-A-I-R-O, and this is her second um, album, and it's really, really good as well. Um, very mellow, very, very chilled, um, you know, soft music with uh, acoustic guitar, piano, um, and she's got one of those sort of you know, wayfish, wayfish with whispery voices, but it's, it's a, it's a really good album too. It's, it's very solid. And that's it. That's the motherfucking music. Minute. Minute. You've been listening to anything? Nope. Just the sounds coming from your PlayStation. Switch.
whatever it is. I don't care. <laughs> Not the same thing. I can't do a PlayStation. PlayStation's too complicated. At least I didn't say Game Boy. <laughs> it's closer to a Game Boy than it is to a PlayStation, though. But that would have, like, boomerized me. It's right here. <laughs> it would have boomerized me. Oh, it's cute. Yeah. You got the purple and the orange. Got a little orange on it. It do. That's your color. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice music. Minute. Good. So Good what you music. been watching? What you, what, what you watching? What? What? What you watching? <laughs> I know you've been watching some shit, at least. If you had the house to yourself, you better be watching some shit. Well, that was just yesterday. Um, Let's see here. Uh, Wait. That's funny. I made the same note twice. That's so weird. It must have been very important. No. Uh, let's see. We watched the third season of The Bear. Mm-hmm. Is it over now? It is. Okay. Which um, I did not care for as much as the other two seasons. Really? Um, each episode was fantastic. Acted, shot, music, everything great. But it was like the whole season was a documentary about working in the restaurant industry Ew. as opposed to a story that carried out throughout a whole season. Like they left things and on cliffhanger status, stuff that had been there the whole season, they got to the end and none of that shit was resolved. Oh. And I'm like, I don't, I don't get it. It was a little too, um, it was felt a little too meta for me. It felt a little too like they know who they are now, the the creators. Mm-hmm. And so now they're trying to outdo themselves or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Again, each episode on its own was great. I enjoyed watching it. As a whole, the season, though, I think was lackluster. I think I prefer a little bit more of a story arc than just it was almost like every episode was like a vignette episode. Every episode, it was a bottle episode almost. It just interesting. That's a, it seems like a, a, yeah, from everything I've heard, it seems like a, a, an odd direction for them to go in. I mean, when you watch it, you understand it. You understand right. where they're coming from, except it just doesn't, it didn't work for me. It, I mean, again, I still enjoyed every moment that I watched it, but I get the, it. Whole, the season as a whole, that makes sense, was not the greatest. And then we're watching. Oh my God, excuse me. I did not sleep well last night because I had two doggies instead of just one doggy. <laughs> and the one doggy is old and does not like to sleep in sleep sometimes. So um, <laughs> uh, then we're also watching the Jake Gyllenhaal uh, oh, Apple yeah, TV yeah, yeah, yeah. called Presumed Innocent. How is it? That's good. Are they just better, it better be resolved. There's yeah. two episodes left. They better resolve that shit. Now, I just got, I, I just got renewed for another season. Oh, fuck. Then they're not going to fucking. No, but everything I read said it'll be a new case. <clears throat> so hmm. okay. it won't be the same case. It may not be the same cast. It'll be more anthological. Oh, well, no, that would be cool. I'd be happy. With um, but yeah, if they don't resolve this, if we don't know who did what, if he did it or didn't do it or who did do it or whatever. By the time this is over, I'm going to be real pissed. Yeah. I can't stand that kind of shit. That drives me nuts. Like it just seems like on a show where it's like a mystery or a who done it sort of a thing. Like if you don't get the answer by the end of the season, that that shit. Yeah. That shit would piss me the fuck off. I'm done. Don't like that. Don't like it. What Done. else you been watching? What else you been watching, baby? Um, I think that's it, except some movies, which we'll talk about later. You finished Evil, right? Or no, it's not done yet, is it? No, it's not done yet. This week's okay. episode was so good. Oh my god, it was so good. It was like I'm, the best episode. I'm so excited to watch that show. I cannot wait until it's done so that we can watch it. Well, yeah, but you could start it now, and by the time you f- get to it, it'll be done. Uh, I can't stop. I can't do anything until we finish the fucking Good Doctor because that has been. I love the show. Don't get me wrong, but it's like mm-hmm. seven fucking seasons of like twenty episodes per season yeah, it's is much. daunting. It's but we're going super fast, so we're already on season six. So it's too much. Too many. Too much. Too much episodes. 
So I am enjoying it. There's I, too I much do episodes. Like it. And I I'm I looked it up and I'm super upset that um Freddie Highmore did not get an Emmy for his role because he is so goddamn good in it. And I just don't understand how he would be looked over for seven entire seasons and not even get a fucking nomination. It just like kind of blows my mind because he's yeah. so good in it. And he just keeps getting better and better because uh, I know you only watched the first season, right? I only watched the first few episodes, I think. Oh, okay. Because it, you know, it's so like all about him for the first season. And right. then as each season goes along, it gets a little more about all the other people as well. And the things going on in their lives. I mean, not that they don't do that in the beginning, but it's just not always constantly like, Oh my God, he has autism. You know what I mean? Like, how right. how is this going to impact everything but you kind of get past a lot of that and and he matures in his life and so it's it's actually a really really good show that people should check it out it's good but he should have got an That's emmy cool. motherfucker if you say so i watched um one documentary this this uh period without us <laughs> recording um the Man with a Thousand Kids. Have you heard about that one yet? Mm -mm. Oh is it about like God. a surrogate? I mean, a uh, cum <laughs> yeah. donor? Yes. <laughs> it is so good. I was I was just shocked. And I who knew? Or it's just one of those things like you're like, uh, I never thought about that. And it makes perfect sense how somebody might abuse the privilege of donating sperm and go to multiple sperm banks and and donate well i mean there is a law like you're supposed to any sperm bank is only supposed to use a sperm from one person 25 times maximum oh wow but this guy was doing multiple sperm banks and advertising online which is totally not against the law to be surrogate a surrogate for people and a lot of them were lesbian couples which i thought was, was kind it, of interesting was it nick cannon <laughs> no <laughs> mm. um this was in oh somewhere nordic uh shit denmark maybe i don't know um anyway the guy was not only doing multiple companies in his origin country he was traveling to multiple countries and donating <laughs> so it just sounds so gross to me it sounds so like one of those people who just like thinks he's so great that he has well that's to... that's the cool part is the thing that gets interesting is that they go into it he does there's something wrong with this person he's like it's almost like he was creating a cult this giant family because he has a youtube page and he, every time he goes to a new country, he posts a, a YouTube video and he passes on a lesson. Ugh. And it's basically like lessons for his children. And Ugh. there's a trial and everything, but it, it, they basically say that they think it's possible that he could have parented in excess of 3,000 children. Jesus Christ. So... <laughs> the thing that I thought was so funny is they they brought it up in the court room. They were like, so what about, you know, how do you feel about if somebody's unknowingly dating their brother or sister and it's accidental incest? And so he was like, well, I've come up with a symbol that they could all attach to themselves and to their social media. I know they, they were all like the court was like, <gasps> like. <laughs> Like he was just so proud of everything that he did. Ugh. There was no shame whatsoever. Ugh. It's just, it was, it's a really good watch. It's only three episodes. So I highly, highly recommend it. It's on Netflix. Um, the man with a thousand kids. Very cool to watch. Very fun. Okay. <laughs> but that's mm -hmm. all I watch in TV. I mean, I've been watching the in TV the, in the TV world, in the TV world television like series world because you oh, know, i'm I still watching my love island so that keeps me plenty occupied with its nine million episodes oh god i'm on the 2024 season though i'm excited about that 
<laughs> and by the time you finish it, it'll be time for 2025. It, it really will. Because it's like 60 some episodes. That's Hour so long cool. episodes of people just talking to each other. <laughs> Why do you watch it? I don't get it. I told you before. It's like a, I, I should just shut my brain off. I don't have to pay attention. I don't care. I glance up when there's a pretty boy in a bathing suit. Like, you know, that's all. That's it. I could care less who wins. <laughs> mm-hmm. And yet you sit and watch 60 hours of it. Yes. You spend 60 hours of your life. Don't judge me. That's almost three days of Don't your life. Don't judge me, bitch. Don't judge me. Watching Love Iceland. And you spend just as much time playing your video games. Just this week, one time. I don't care. I don't care. Mm. There, it's not. You, it's a false equivalency. It's, it doesn't make. It's not the same thing. Social security. It's a false security. This is going to be our shortest episode ever. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you next time. Okay, wait. No, I have watched a bazillion movies, and I got to talk about all these movies that oh I've been my watching. God. Okay, go. What have you haven't watched no movies? Well, only the ones that we're gonna talk about is that we watched together. Oh, oh that. except no, I watched one. I watched one movie without you. I mean that Which we didn't one? watch together. If. Oh. It was meh. At best. Oh no. Yeah. At best. Oh I was well. very not interested in it. It looked so super cute. Mm. No. Fine. Damn it. Oh, so we'll what'd you watch? Not to see that. Um, well, first went to the movies because I had to take my father to see Horizon Part One. Ooh, did you hear what that the second part got pulled from the theaters? What? Yep, it's not being released in August now, and they're not sure. It might go straight to Max. Why did it? Bomb? Because of how bad the first one did. Oh the first one made it cost like a hundred million dollars to make that movie, and the first one made like twenty one million. Oh my god, I hated it so much. I wouldn't. I don't care. I don't love my parents that much. Oh. I would not go see Horizon, a saga, with my mom or dad, no matter how bad they wanted. To. Oh, you know you would. If your dad uh, said, "Please take me to see this movie," you'd be like, "Okay." And I'll, I'll be like, "Have Lori take you." Nuh-uh. I'm not sitting through two and a half hours of a Western. It's not um, two and a half. Try three hours, three solid hours of a part one. No, no stories are, are finished. It was like watching. Do you remember like back in the like eighties and nineties, how they always did the like, um, you know, special event TV shows over like four nights or whatever. Yeah. It was like watching one of those, like, like Lonesome Dove, but not even as good as that. Okay. It was just hokey. It was not, it was not good. Um, and the story was really lackluster. I was just like, this is this huge six hour epic you're going to have of two. Nine which, hours. Nine. There's supposed to be three parts. Oh, the Jesus third part. Christ. The third part wasn't, hasn't been made yet. The second, the first and second have been made. The third part was put. It was supposed to come out sometime later. They never gonna make that shit. No. They ain't gonna... <laughs> no. Oh yeah, I. And thank I, God. It felt like watching a TV show, like a like a cheap TV show. Mm. And yeah, I, 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 Kevin Costner isn't even in the first like forty minutes of the movie, and then when he comes in, you're like, oh, thank God. And then he's just boring as fuck. His character has no umph. He's got no personality. And there's nobody that you're rooting for in the movie at all. It's just, oh my God. I, I hated it. So yeah, I can't even much. imagine. I cannot even imagine. The other movie that we went to see is Maxine. Yeah. Um, you which loved it I so was much. So excited about i was so excited about it because it's the third one in the trilogy and it was a total letdown really yes um now i think upon reflection 
that maybe I, maybe Marty and I both had our expect expectations really high because yeah. I love X and I love, I love fucking love Pearl more than anything. And they were so good that maybe I just had such high expectations that this was just, just didn't quite meet those expectations, but it, the story was not as good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the, the thing that was really cool. The thing that I loved is that each movie has has like spoken to a certain genre of film. Like, you know, the original X was very 70s gritty, sort of, you know, like n trying to look kind of like a, a Texas Chainsaw Massacre sort of a type thing. Right. Um, independent film looking. And then Pearl, you know, takes us back to the, the 1900s and it's like, in technicolor glory it's like watching the wizard of oz you know like with all the color and the the right. spectacle and it was the story was so fucking good and for this one i get what they were going for like it's totally that um like in the 80s there was uh, a, like a genre of film that they called gore exploitation like where it was just like horror movies that were so super gory just for the sake of being gory you know what i mean yeah and um, so it has that look and that feel like it very much looks like a movie that was made in the 80s. Um, but it just the story was so meh. And you kind of knew where the story was going to go to if you really like thought about it. Um, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, but um, it just. It was just disappointing. It was just disappointing. I just wanted I'm the story sorry. to be better. I just wanted it to be better. I'm sorry. Now, it started off really good. And Mia Goth is fucking amazing. And she has this whole like thing in the beginning where she's going to um, uh, audition for an actual film instead of an X-rated film. And she like gets into character and delivers the lines. And it's like fucking amazing. And you're like, oh, my God, this is going to be good. And then from there, just kind of. <laughs> Did you have they, you read about the people that are, the extra that is suing the movie company and her? I had briefly supposedly she like he was like laying on the ground and she deliberately kicked him in the head and then confronted him about it. It doesn't. I don't know why. I, I. She's just one of those people where I'm like I look at her and I'm like oh I believe it. She just looks like she would be. Really? Yeah. Maybe she you does, just think so because she's she's freckled and fiery. So maybe you think she's just mean. Maybe, but I mean, after reading that story, I was like, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Surprise me. Part of me thinks that it might have been like advertising, like to just kind of get people to. I don't think know. so because I just read another article about it again just really? the other day. Yeah, I'll have to ask uh, Brandy Joe over at Scaring he said, Sharing. In the article, he released more information now that the movie had come out. He didn't want to release it before, supposedly. So now the movies come out, he released more information about what she did. Like after she kicked him, apparently she, she confronted him about it and was like yelling at him. And then he got fired. Hmm. So I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I do want to say though, I, I don't mean to convey that it's not a good movie because it, in the trilogy, it's the weakest of the three, but it's still a damn good movie. Like, you know, it still fits in, and and visually it's very cool and the the kill scenes are very very cool and gross so it's still a good movie it just was that i had such high expectations for it and it just kind of fell flat of what i wanted it to be speaking of i'm going to go back a little bit to tv again for a second cuz uh -huh. now do you like when you watch a horror movie do you enjoy the gore oh god yes okay so I think even though you don't like superhero things, I think you should watch The Boys on Amazon Prime. No, I, I plan to. Oh, you do? Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is the goriest thing I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. I've, like, I wanted to see it from movie, the day it came out. Any movie, any TV show, any horror movie, the things that they do on that show, I don't know how they come up with it. I don't know how they come <laughs> up with the shit that they do on that show. And it's so perfectly political. Like, it's so about, like, Trump and all of uh, that whole movement. It's mm -hmm. so about that. It's really good. 
I've it's read really nothing cool. but great things about it. I mean, it's been, you know, like I said, I wanted to watch it from the first time it came out. But you know how I am. I got to wait until the shit is done before I'll watch sometimes. it. Only sometimes. That's not true. It is true. That's not you true. You watch certain things year by year and you watch certain things. You wait till they're done. That's that not you true. Do. That's not true. Okay. The next time you tell me that you've watched, I'm trying to think of what it was recently that you told me you were watching. You just couldn't wait. Um, I don't know. I mean, yeah, awful. if it's something that I really, really want to see badly, like, well, you know, okay. I that's watched all, all the Walking Deads each year that they came out because, right. you know. But that's all I'm saying. Is I love not, that shit. It is certain things that you have to wait and certain things you will watch when you want to. That's all I'm Basically, saying. I'm not saying that, bad or good. I'm saying, that, oh God, here we go. Jesus Christ. I'm not, <laughs> I can tell by the way you're holding your body that you're going to insult me. And I just. <laughs> I didn't even say anything. <laughs> I didn't even get no kind of thought in my head yet. And you Bullshit. already checked out. Look Bullshit. at you. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, he is on his goddamn phone. That's how that's how much he's ignoring me right now. Motherfucker. Last thing about Maxine mm -hmm. um, is that Moses Sumney and Halsey both are two of my favorite musicians i love both of them and they were both in it which i thought was really cool because i didn't know that because oh. when i want to see a movie like that i don't look into all of those things because i want to be surprised right so anyway that's it um i watched back to black the movie about oh. amy winehouse interesting it was okay um i loved amy winehouse i mean she when she first burst onto the scene i was like she's a fucking genius and i still think she's a genius she was obviously a tortured genius but um the documentary amy which preceded this movie to me was much better um so i don't know there's some discrepancies in the story about how her relationship with her husband impacted her you know because the documentary is very much like he introduced all these drugs into her life and kind of, you know, was her downfall. Whereas this movie was more like she was more the drug person and he was like an innocent victim type thing. So I don't know who provided all the back story for a lot of this stuff. And even in the documentary too, like her dad kind of comes off as a, a bad character um, because mm. it was like all he cared about was getting her to the show. He didn't care if she was fucked up or not, you know, sort right. of thing. He didn't take her to rehab when, except for he tried once or whatever. They and, tried to make me go to rehab. I said no, no, no. Yeah, she wrote a song about it. And um, I can hear, hear it go. Then the movie uh, kind of portrays her dad in a much better light too. So I don't know. So I don't know which story is accurate. Right. Um, so I'm curious to know, but I might not never know who knows. You might not never, but the girl who did play Amy Winehouse was really, really good. And there was a lot of points in the film where she was singing um, and she was quite good. I was like, mm. wow, she's got a really nice voice. Um, she doesn't have exactly the same kind of intonations as Amy Winehouse, but right. Anyway, I also watched a movie called Fancy Dance on Apple TV. Did you see see the preview for that? That sounds familiar. It's it's um, Lily Gladstone. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Remember I that? Didn't see a new trailer for it though. No. It was good. I enjoyed it. It's a, it's a it's a drama. It's, you know, kind of slow moving, but she's again playing a lesbian for the second time. Um and it just was I don't know. It was it was a good story. It wasn't anything incredible or anything probably super memorable, but I did enjoy the movie. I would give it a 6. A 6 out of 10? Yeah, I'd give it a 6. Okay. But I do love that Lily Gladstone. I think she's she would beat my ass too, cause she's she's tough. She's a, tough. she's a sturdy woman. She sure is stout. She's stout. Um, I watched Flame and Hot. Oh yeah, 
which was super cute. And I loved the story because I it was I didn't know it. Um, do, do you know the story that it's about or anything? Yeah, and supposedly it may not be true. Oh, no, don't tell me that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there, I was, hate there that. was some discussion over whether or not it really happened like that, whether that guy was really the inventor, et cetera, et cetera. Damn it. And they even do the little but thing at the anymore. end, you know, where they were like, and this is what he's doing now. And they showed the real people. So you would think it would have to be at least somewhat well, true. I'm Maybe it was. I'm just telling you what I read. Okay. But it was a good story. And I, you know, and it's like a sort of a, um, an underdog story where you're rooting for this person to do something, you know, big. Yep. And I very much enjoyed it. I also watched Under Paris, which is the shark movie on Netflix. It's a French film, and there's a shark that gets into the Seine River, <laughs> and and it's like, you know, killing it. It's, it's just cheesy. And But if you, I mean, I love a good shark movie, okay? Like, I, I, I do. I love them. Um... I I enjoy them, and this is Are basically there good shark movies besides the first Jaws. Well, yeah, like I mean, what? I've seen a couple. Okay. I mean, not like these big blockbuster movies like The Meg and all that. That shit is so ridiculous, but I still watch them. I mean, right. th- th- those are movies that I like. Um, this one is is cheesy, but it's like watching Jaws in Paris. So it's the same sort of thing. There's a big event. They're going to be doing a triathlon. And part of it is done in the Seine River. And, you know, that sort of the thing. Shark, it's like, shark and the shark havoc. is there. Yes, and wreaks havoc. The and, shark is there having a beer. Exactly. Enjoying himself at the triathlon. Having a little smoke. People getting into his water and thinking he's the bad guy. Exactly. exactly. Get out of his house. But it was cute. It was fun. It was enjoyable enough. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's just like the fucking CGI shit is what ruins a movie. <laughs> like, it's just it's so bad. <laughs> There's so much of it today these days. Oh, I know. It's so bad. I mean, some of the some of the effects and stuff they did were really cool, but it's just like i don't know the movement of the shark and all that kind of stuff was just ridiculous um they didn't have a bruce a bruce that was the name of the shark in jaws the mechanical oh, shark in jaws was named oh bruce. okay i was like uh, why i have no idea i did not know that um i watched there wasn't no cgi then that's for show but you know what? That goddamn mechanical shark was more believable than any of this CGI shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. They needed a Bruce. I watched a movie that I kind of put off because I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it. There's a movie called um, I Saw the TV Glow. And it's a horror movie. Um, although I think that they use that term loosely to describe this movie. Um, It felt like watching a TV glow. That's basically what it felt like for the whole entire movie. I did not care for it. And it's one of those movies that's polarizing. Either people love it. A lot of people have it on their best list for best horror movies so far this year. And I felt like I was skinnamarinked because that was the same thing with skinnamarink. People love that movie. And it was the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I hated it with every fiber of of my being. It's on AMC Plus. If anybody wants to watch the worst movie ever made, watch that one. Because that's definitely one of them. Um, worse than I, Ishtar. I would watch the shit out of Ishtar again before I would watch Skinnamarink. That's for sure. Okay. There is nothing happens in Skinnamarink. There's not even any fucking dialogue. It's horrendous. Skinnamarink, dinky dink. Do they sing that at least? Yes, it's like a, on a cartoon or some shit. I, don't I know. love you. Um, I saw the TV glow sucked. So there we go. So now we can talk about the movies that we both watched it. Yeah. Which one you want to talk about first, baby? Uh, I don't know. You choose. Get off your goddamn phone. I'm texting my niece. <laughs> Let's talk about Beverly Hills Cop Colon 
Axel F. Beverly Hills Cop, colon, Axel F. Get to my notes. Let me get to my notes. Little Eddie Murphy. I love me some Eddie Murphy. It's, I do there's love something, Eddie Murphy. It's like a, you know, it's just like an old friend coming to give you a hug, you know? Like, it's just like, I just love him so much. And so when you see him, you're excited. Just like having, um, you know, coming to America, like having a sequel to that was so fucking exciting. I, yeah. I was excited. And I mean, was it as good of a movie? Eh. I mean, we had it, you know, we had the excitement about coming to America. So I enjoyed the sequel, but it wasn't like it was necessary in any way, shape or form. <laughs> He needs to do a sequel to the sequel to the Golden Child. Oh That's what he needs to do a sequel to. Sardo Nomsi. I love that movie so much. So what did what did you think you about I watch that tonight? Beverly Hills Cop colon I liked it. I liked it. Um I thought it was I thought the soundtrack was incredible. I thought it was so smart of them to use the music from the other movies. So cute. Like what a clever idea to update yeah. all of those songs and run them through the whole movie. I, I thought that was a brilliant idea. Yeah. Um, let's see what else I wrote. Soundtrack was banging. <laughs> um, I loved the pick of Gil Hill in Paul Reiser's office. I thought that was really sweet because you know, he did. So, yeah. So they, but it was a nice little homage to him. Um, I, I thought John seeing... Ashton. Oh, did not look good. Which one's John was... Ashton? Um, the chief now. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I can't think of what his name is in the movie. Mm-mm. The one that partners with Judge Reinhold. Yeah. Um, but there was one point when he first came in where he had his arm out, and the sleeve of his shirt was hanging down, like three inches. Like it was way too big on him, and I don't know if they were trying to make him look skinnier trying to make him look fatter try i don't know what it was but i don't know why this shirt did not fit him right it was really hmm. weird hmm. go back and look it's weird yeah um I'm curious now uh the sound on the movie was really good it was in dolby atmos and it yeah. really sounded good in atmos it was fun to watch um, on the sonos um that's it that's all I enjoyed it too. It was, it was, it was, um, like I said, it's like getting a hug from an old friend. He was so funny in it. Um, I thought it was super cool to see Judge Reinhold because where the fuck has he been? Um, and John Ashton. And John Ashton. And um, Bronson Pinchot. I was just like, oh, Palky. I just was so happy to see him. You know, it's like, he just and it was cute i mean i wish he would have been funnier i wish they would have given him something more because in the original he was so fucking hysterical um but anyway i i really 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 enjoyed it i thought it was cute it was fun to watch um so yeah i mean for nostalgic purposes i agree with you on all that stuff the soundtrack was so much fun um and it was you know Action packed and exciting, and yeah. and the story made sense. Yeah, I enjoyed and it. it. Was it was cute. I enjoyed it. It was not, it you know, too. it's not going to win any awards, but I enjoyed it. I I, don't, I felt like it was two hours that, or whatever it was, hour and a half that I was entertained. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So now let's talk about Bebs. Did you watch that on your site? Is that where you found it? Yeah. Okay. I didn't rent it. You know, I'm not renting shit. Come on. I bought that shit. I loved every fucking second of that movie so much. I did to accept. I thought that the change in Michelle Buteau's character Mm-hmm. was too sudden yep. like i thought i thought you're like there for your girl you you guys are family and then all of a sudden you're just not i wrote like, the same thing down and i i mean i get why but I was like, it, just, it needed more exposition i think yeah because they were supposed to be like ride or die for like forever like the yeah, whole they've known kids. each other since they were kids so yeah the fact that she was so quick to just be like 
peace. Like, yeah, we're not family. I was like, what? I have a family. Yeah. I was like, fuck you, bitch. Right? That would, that was a little. It was mean. I was like, yeah. wow. And this girl's pregnant and she's got to go through this alone conceivably after, you know, after you swore you'd be there for her. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That was the only thing I didn't like about it. But I liked the movie a lot. I thought it was funny. I love Alana Glazer. I love Michelle Buteau. I loved Hassan Minaj. I thought he was great. He was. In it. Um, who else was in it? Somebody else. Uh, I don't know. There was, there was lots of people peppered throughout. Um, what's her name? Um, Sandra, Sandra Bernhard was in it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, somebody else. I can't remember. Anyway, um, I did not know it was directed by Pamela Adlon. Oh, yeah. That's the whole reason why I wanted to watch it. Which was even more of I mean, I I was in just from Michelle Buteau and Alana Glazer because I fucking love I loved Better Things is probably what. Well, I'm not sorry. I'm I'm jumping ahead. I meant Alana Glazer. I love Broad City so much. I loved that show. And then Better Things with Pamela Adlon as the director and star was fucking incredible. So those are two of my favorite things. And so for all of it to be put together it was like, oh my God, I just fucking love this movie. And it was so funny, so heartfelt. But I do agree that that little rift between them was a little, felt a little forced. Yeah. Um, like, I felt like they could have wrote that a little differently and yeah. made it more believable. Just not quite as mean. Like, I don't know yeah. why she was so mean. Yeah. She could have just been like forgetful or busy or whatever. She didn't have to be mean. Right. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's it, not it felt necessary. False to me. It felt false. And I love Pamela, Pamela Adlon is, I mean, I've loved her since she was Pamela Seagal. You know, I, I've loved her since she was a kid. Yeah. Since I was a kid and she was a kid because we're, we're almost the same age. She's a little older. Um, she's amazing. She's, she's just, so uh, good. She's so good. I still love I better things. More. Better things will always go down as one of my top shows. I just fucking yeah. love that show. Me too. But, um, it, to me, it felt like the whole movie felt like a, a nice, big, long episode of Broad City, just because Ilana Glazer was the exact same character that she really yeah. was in Broad City. And she's just so good at it, though. She's just so fucking funny at being ridiculous. Like um, when when Michelle Buteau was um, her water first broke and she was <laughs> she was making a lot of Glazer get up there and check like what was what was coming out of her vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote down the quote though. It was, it's just a little light pussy drizzle, <laughs> 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 which just made me laugh so hard. I had to pause for a minute. Cause I was just like, it's just a little light pussy drizzle. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I, oh, I adored that movie and it, it was super fun. It's one I probably will watch again just because I I, I could definitely fun. see myself seeing it again yeah. for sure. Like it'll come up on a cable or some some shit, some streaming service, and I'll watch it a million times. Bo Um All right, let's talk about is that all the TV and movies you have? That's it. I got some food stuff, but I think we have um a very special um opinionary that you need to share. We do that. I that was sent in June that I for, <laughs> we forgot to read the last time, but it's from our good friend Brandy Joe Plamback. Oh, BJP Plamback. I don't know why I said Plamback. I don't know why I said his <laughs> name like that. It's Plamback. Um, and it's sad. And it's titled Taskmaster. Ooh, Taskmaster. Hi, OSO boys. Thank you so much for turning me on to Taskmaster. Joe and I have been loving it. We started with the most recent season, but we'll surely go back and watching all of them. It took an episode to get acclimated to the people and the format, but since then, it's just pure joy. What a delight. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on A Quiet Place Day One, a brilliant addition to somewhat lackluster franchise. I absolutely loved it. So we know you loved it, and I oh, was like... Oh, I loved it. Hope you're all doing fabulously. Love spending time with you each week. Keep up the beautiful opinions, BJP. Oh, BJP. Oh, BJP. BJP. I can't wait to listen to their um, their new episode because it is about long legs, which I am going to see tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm going to see some exciting. long legs. I'm super did excited about that. Did you their episode about Maxine? I did after after the fact. And what did they think about it? uh brandy joe and actually yeah they were exactly the same as i as me they felt oh. exactly the same 
which was I, kind of a surprise, which I even sent uh, Brandy Joe a message. that was like, oh, my God, we are exactly the same on Maxine. It was that was exactly how I felt about it. I still I still enjoyed it. It just was not as good as I wanted it to be. Just like the third season of The Bear. Still um, enjoyed it. Just yeah. wasn't as good as it could have been. And I get that, you know. Well, the I'm third, down. everything in threes. It's the th- season three problem. That's what mm. it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The third one's always lackluster. Godfather mm-hmm. three. Come on. Mm. Except Return mm. of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. Friday the cool. 13th part three was really, really bad. But you know what? <gasps> no, Hall- it was in 3D. Halloween three, good as hell. Season of the Witch? Oh my God, it's my favorite. Oh my God, you're crazy. What? You're fucking nuts. I loved it eight as more days thing. till Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Eight more days till Halloween. Silver Shamrock. It is a work of art, that movie. I fucking okay. love it. Okay. Come on, it's a rare exception. They took they it doesn't even have anything to do with the original story. It has I nothing know. to do with any of it. And I thought I it was know. so brilliant. It's an exploding mask. It's really <laughs> stupid. I loved it. Loved you it. You would. You would. So like I said, I've been like sort of cheating on my diet. I've not really not cheating, just not trying to lose weight. I'm just maintaining. So I've allowed myself some a few treats. But there's something that I wanted to share with you. Yeah. There is this new chocolate. See it? It's called Mr. Beast. It's Mr. Beast is the brand. And they're do called you know who Feastables. Mr. Beast is? No, I do not. He's a YouTube star, dude. Are you for real? Yeah. He's a YouTube star. He has... He... he is like one of the, if he might not be the biggest anymore, but he was for a while, the biggest YouTube star, like the most subscribed. And he is so weird. He has like a hamburger thing, like, um, ghost kitchen on DoorDash. You can order from Mr. Beast burger. Um, and he gives away a lot of money. I think, I think that's him who, who just, he'll give away like millions of dollars. Cause he has, he's made oh, so damn. much money from YouTube. Wow. So is it good? Oh my God. It's, I was going to say, I don't care what he is or what he, what he believes in, but that is a good goddamn candy bar. Okay. The peanut butter is so peanut buttery. Oh, good. Oh my God, Jamie. I was just like, Oh shit. Okay. And it's like a nice, soft, milky chocolate. And then it's so peanut buttery and yumminess. They have two. There's like a, there's a regular peanut butter. And then there's peanut butter crunch with the like puffed rice crisps in it. Okay. And that was what I bought the first time and loved it. And then I bought this other one. Um, and it's it's super good. <laughs> it's really, really I'll good. i keep an eye out for it. Very peanut buttery. But I mean, it's, you know, I'm always going to be a Reese's stan. I mean, Reese's is my well, shit. Well, of course. But this was very good when you want a nice peanut buttery chocolate snack. All right. Um, I know I talked to you about the spicy mango Doritos. Yeah. Which can suck a dick. Those are, <laughs> those were horrible. I was like, <sighs> it was so funny because I opened them and I was like, I'm going to try them. And then I took like two or three and then I took another bite and I was just like, and then I sort of rolled them up and put them back on the fridge. And Marty was like, I can tell by the look on your face, you ain't going to eat those. And I was like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Throw them out. I was like, go ahead. They're, they're shit. I can't stand them. They were they yeah. were not good. I... Mango is just not a flavor that should be associated with a Dorito. <laughs> no. No. You could be in, you know, fruit uh, in candy form and be yeah, fine. But absolutely. I don't need it on a Dorito. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I ha- recently picked up a bag of spicy dill pickle goldfish, Ooh. which are good as hell. And they are only, you get 55 of them for 140 calories. See, to me, that's like astonishing. Yeah. Yeah. There's only, I think five servings in a bag. Ooh. I'm going to have to get me some but of those. But they're good. They're good as hell. Are they good and spicy or just a little spicy? No, they're pretty spicy. Oh, they're good. not like, they're not, no, they're not like, um, oh my God, this is so spicy. It's not that. It's a good level of spice to keep eating them. You can keep That's eating the them I without like, yeah. being like, uh, uh, uh. just like that. Anything else? I did also try um, the Smart Pop. Popcorn has a barbecue cheddar. Oh, and interesting. 
I know. I was like, that's an interesting flavor combination. So I thought I would try it. But my big thing about barbecue, I love barbecue flavored things, but I don't like it when it's smoky flavored. Okay. And this is smoky. So it's like cheddar. It tastes more like smoked cheddar with a little barbecue spice in there. And it, eh. I mean, it's okay. They're, they're, they're not horrible, but it's, it's not, not my favorite kind of. Mm. Don't like it. I'm not I a like, fan of the smart pop. I don't like the, the texture of smart pop. I don't either. But the only one I did like was they bought the, or they did the um, Dorito nacho cheese flavored popcorn. And oh, interesting. that was really tasty. I was like, Oh, that shit really goes together really, really well. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I agree. It's chewy. The popcorn gets chewy and I don't like it. I like my popcorn to be popping, you know? I like my popcorn popping. Popcorn popping. Crunchy like. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. All right. Well, that's it then. Fuck off. Okay. I can I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> you so last crazy. word I just been it's just been like you know I've missed you baby I missed you okay well I love you <gasps> you didn't miss me I tried texting you but you just don't respond listen y'all I'm gonna post the texts that we have between each other so that y'all can see that I text him just as much as he texts me oh, Texas yeah. Texas Texases. Texases. Say goodnight, Gracie. <sighs> okay. Bye-bye. Bye.